Am I right if I'm saying I've seen three shark movies this year? The Black Demon, The Meg 2, and Zom 10, Bucket List of the Dead? Zombie Sharks. You've been warned. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. So what's this about? Pretty simple premise. This is based off a Japanese manga about a guy who loves his job, or he thought he did. He's like, I'm so glad I got here, but he realized I'm going to grind. I haven't had a vacation. I'm just dead tired. He walks out of his apartment a year later from getting his job. The zombies are everywhere, and he's actually ecstatic that he does not have to go to work. But what's he going to do now? Because he realized, you know what? Life is short. I don't want to become a zombie. What are 100 things I want to do before coming a zombie and that is what this movie is about so to like this film it was fine i was kind of going into it kind of excited like ooh, a japanese horror zombie movie that's going to be bonkersly gory it's not bonkersly gory it's very silly overall like it's very much the best way to say it is like it's a mix of zombie land and scott pilgrim almost like that uh scout's guide to being the zombie apocalypse also it's like all three of those movies combined but all three of those other movies are better than this one, hands down. So we talk about the pauses. I think the tone works for the silliness of it, of this kid that just wants to live life, and it is fun on that level. There are some good laugh-out-loud moments when it comes to the zombie killings, as well as what he has to do to get out alive. Also, just the environment is fun to watch this Japanese landscape of the aquarium of downtown Tokyo of the red light district in Tokyo, and going to these different spots in Japan to knowing what is happening. And when I say this movie goes bonkers, it goes bonkers. So you're either going to be like, I don't like the bonkersness of this, or you're going to like it. Like I said, zombie sharks. Either you're going to laugh out loud at this, or you're going to be like, what the hell is happening? This is a movie where there's no, you got to take your disbelief and throw it out the window. This isn't like zombie land where you're like, oh, I can understand some of this happening, having the rules. No, this is just straight up, a lot of the stuff doesn't make sense. And I think that's what boggles this movie down. Also being two hours and 10 minutes doesn't help at all because it feels like we are dragging to understand this storyline. Yes, we want to see the landscape. We want to see what this kid wants to do before he turns a zombie. But we are dragging out the story in scenes that don't need to be dragged out. And also the dragging out scenes of what they're doing, it doesn't make sense. For example, all you really know is you think these zombies can't really see but it's all about sound. And so, if it's all about sound, why are we doing so many fireworks? Why are we doing so many things that deal with sound? Why are we yelling at the top of our lungs to do something? If we know for a fact the zombies are about sound, do not yell. Do not stuff that attracts the zombies to you. It makes no damn sense. And then we have the just the characters himself, like his best friend, that was the quarterback of his football team back in, I want to say, high school. That character was such a wuss, and he got kind of annoying pretty quick. I think the girl character was nice, and I do wish she was fleshed out a little bit more, and she is a good part of the movie, but I just feel like this movie felt like a zombie apocalypse movie with zombies not being that dangerous. There wasn't a lot of gore in this movie, it just felt very safe, and I just felt very disappointed with that. This could have gone so gory, like, oh shit moments, but besides to put out, you know, playfulness of zombies, which zombies aren't really playful whatsoever. And what I mean by the zombies don't feel that dangerous, like I said, there's this shark suit at the end, which kind of just is like, what? And at the very end, where everyone's like driving away, where the hell did the damn zombies go? Like I said, there's a lot of disbelief in this movie, and overall, I was highly disappointed with what I was watching on screen. So overall, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. There is a solid premise in here somewhere. Of course, there's a manga, and I heard there's an animated series as well. I think I might be more interested in the animated series to see where it flushes out. Is it supposed to be this silly? Is it supposed to be just this not gory? And just like the zombies don't feel that dangerous. That's what I really need to know. So Zom 100... Bucket list of the dead will receive a two out of five of food taunts, which equals at 40%. Let's see the critics' news scores gave this one. So, critics a 63% with eight of them, audience score 35% with plus 50. No critic consensus. I am curious about the positives. 
We have a 1 out of 5 for the negative, a 1.5 out of 4, 3 out of 5, a 5 out of 5. Oh, that's crazy. A C minus, a 3 out of 5, a 7.5 out of 5. So if people like it, they either this is either like the range of not good, mid, 5 out of 5. There's nothing really in between. Pretty damn bonker. So anyway, 35, 50, no, 40. 63. Chase Sock with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One oh, no, more thing is Blue Futon Topia. You Blue Futon take a great day. And I don't care what to say tomorrow, week, or month, or a year from now. I love every single one of you. I think we are seven more subscribers to 2300. Thank you so much. And I know I've gotten some comments about the audio. I am trying to figure that out. Some people are saying it's fine. Some people it's not. So I don't know what to say because it's connected to the camera. I don't want to blow people's speakers out. So I don't know if I need to get a new one of these. I, I just don't know. Then also, with the like people that could, you know, subtitles. I think YouTube is supposed to do that by itself, but if not, I will completely research for you.